Welcome to Kimcast R. This little video is about how to maintain my paintbrushes. So this is going to be a, a very short video, but people ask me how to maintain your brushes because they're so expensive, you want to make sure you maintain them properly. If you're doing oil paint, like this one here, this is the Bob Ross brush right here. This one doesn't look too bad, I'm not sure if you can see it real well, but it's still, it's still getting pretty dirty. So what you can do is you can buy a little product. It's called the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. Uh, Preserver. I'm sorry. Now there are other things out there on the, on the market. I'm not promoting these companies. This is just one that I happen to use. So what you do first is clean it as much as you can in clean paint thinner or mineral spirits, whatever turpentine. I would clean it a couple of times. And then, if it's pretty dirty, let it sit for a little while. You know, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. And then you can dry it off as much as you can, wipe it all off. And then, this stuff right here, I'm not going to clean this one yet, but you just rub it in, both sides. And then you can really just work it in with your fingers. Work it in really good with your fingers. All the way through. And you can let it sit there. For a while if you want to if it's pretty bad and then rinse it off in warm water really good if it's not fully clean like you want it to be repeat the process now also a lot of these brushes will get stiff after a while first thing is you can buy something that will soften the bristles but let me give you a little tip. Save yourself some money. Good old baby oil. Take some baby oil. Put a few drops on your brush. Work it in. It'll work it right in. Works great for babies. It definitely works for brushes too. This will soften your brushes and they won't be so stiff. Especially synthetic brushes. You want them to be soft. You want them to be able to move right. And that works really well. When you get ready to use it. Just wash it off in your thinner. Now, sometimes if they're really bad, if they're really stiff, I'll actually put the baby oil on and I'll wrap it up in some paper towel, and lay it there, and let it sit overnight. And there you go, get a soft brush. The next tip is this say you got a brush and it's you accidentally moved it up against something without realizing it and it gets out of shape like that. Just like that, just moves it right out of shape. This little guy right here is called Speedball Brush Shaper. And what it does is, it's just a real thin liquid after you've cleaned your brush. And all you gotta do is put this stuff on it and reshape your brush very gently. And then let's let it sit, let it dry. And then when you're done, rinse it off in your thinner and dry it off and it'll work with any kind of a brush whether it's for oil or acrylic or watercolor it doesn't matter but it'll actually help reshape your brush and save you money because if you have a brush and it's got a point on it you definitely want to have that point still so that's how you do that anyway thank you for watching and have a good day